Dmitry Cherniak did not create the aesthetic of the goose. It was through automation, and therein lies the magic. The primary focus of Dmitry Cherniak's practice is the automation of visual outputs. Dmitry studied computer science and physiology. This is where he began making art with algorithms and code. One of the most fascinating things I find about Dimitri's art practice has always been his vision of the entire algorithm's output as the artwork. Ringers is part of Dimitri's practice and this theme that he's been studying for a few years now. But it was really inspired by Armin Hoffman and this idea of how many ways can you wrap a string around a set of pegs. And so when we look at Ringers, it's this very somewhat simple graphic output, but it really does showcase the power of the algorithm and what it's able to produce. What is special about Ringer's 879, known as the Goose, and why it stands out, is the monumental improbability that it even exists. In generative art, the artist dictates the relative probability of any particular attribute appearing in an artwork, but the artist is only dictating the probability, not the actual number of times a particular attribute appears. And so it became really recognized as uh, the symbol of how the machine can actually take a very important role in the creation process and create something that is really unique and that maybe could have not happened if it was without the implication of the randomization of it. It's a talisman of the community, a source of delight and pride and a symbol of this community. Because it's been shown so much, because there's an identifiable factor to it, it actually holds more value to, to the community and to, to everyone who's participating in it. In addition of being the most significant work of the post-blockchain generative art movement, this work is also the only NFT, the only work that is accompanied by a signed print by Dmitry Chaniak. Now that this goose is coming up in the market, it won't be back anytime soon. So this is the only unique opportunity for a collector to take his chance and acquire the most significant pieces of the post-blockchain generative art.